what is good everybody welcome back to another episode brought to you by the league ffb it is a short quick week here in the nfl in week 13 i got my top 36 wide receivers for you as we head into the thanksgiving day games and all of the other stuff here in week 13 so if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel make sure you are subscribed you don't want to miss the running back version of this episode that is going to come out later today but with all of that out of the way let's hop into today's video and let's start talking about these wide receivers All right, so as you can see, I got the tier maker pulled up on the screen. We got seven tiers to get through all 36 wide receivers in today's video, and we are going to be kicking it off here in my top tier. That tier is the elite wide receiver ones. I got three wide receivers in there. It's going to be Nico Collins coming in as my number one, AJ Brown as my number two, and Jamar Chase as my number three. Now, all of these guys have matchups worth talking about. They are the top players, so we aren't really debating on whether or not we should be starting or sitting these guys, but Nico Collins, he has a good matchup this week. Right now, Jacksonville is getting giving up 6.8 fantasy points above the expectation. They're currently ranked 30th in the NFL when it comes to points against at 34.1 points per game. So they are a very good matchup for Nico Collins to target. He's looked good ever since he's came back from that injury. He's had a couple of these touchdowns called back. He should have a big day here in week 13. Another good matchup for AJ Brown as well. He gets the Baltimore Ravens. They're currently giving up 7.1 fantasy points above the expectation and they're ranked 31st against fantasy football wide receivers, giving up a total of 35 fantasy points per game to that position group. He should also have another big day as well and then jamar chase he has a bad matchup on paper obviously jamar chase he is matchup proof but right now pittsburgh they're giving up negative 4.5 fantasy points below the expectation they're currently ranked sixth in the nfl against fantasy football wide receivers only allowing about 23.7 fantasy points per game but like i said jamar chase he is matchup proof we're not really worried about jamar chase let's go into my tier two tier two is going to be those high-end wide receiver ones and i got four wide receivers in this tier coming in at wide receiver four i got puka nakua wide receiver five justin jefferson six on I'm on Ross St. Brown and seven, Mike Evans. There isn't too much to talk about when it comes to these wide receivers. These guys are all really good wide receivers. The only thing worth noting right now is that Amon Ross St. Brown, he does play on Thursday. That is Thanksgiving. He is questionable at the moment with a knee injury. We are expecting him to play. I am assuming he is going to play in this matchup, but he does have a knee injury and that's why he's kind of been pushed down my rankings just a tiny bit. If he was fully healthy and I knew at this very moment, the time of the recording that he was going to be a full go, he would probably be at the top of this tier. So there is room for Amon Ross St. Brown's ranking to improve before game time. Now let's move on to tier three. Tier three is going to be those low end wide receiver ones for me. I got a total of five wide receivers in this tier. Coming in at number eight, I got CeeDee Lamb, nine, Cooper Cup, 10, George Pickens, 11, Cortland Sutton, and 12, Drake London. That rounds out this tier for me. On Thanksgiving Day, you have CeeDee Lamb playing as well. He gets the New York Giants. He is questionable with both back and foot injuries. He's been dealing with this for a couple of weeks. He keeps playing. He keeps getting the targets as well. Cooper Rush is still throwing him the football. So we should see CeeDee Lamb play in this game. At least that's what I'm expecting. And he should still have the targets. So he has a higher floor than most of these wide receivers, even with the backup quarterback in for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I also have Cortland Sutton in here. And this is the first time that I think he's hit this tier three where he's been a low end wide receiver one, probably long overdue the way that he's been playing this year. He gets a Monday game against the Cleveland Browns. This is a good matchup for him on paper. Cleveland is currently giving up 5.1 fantasy points above the expectation and they're currently ranked 29th in total points allowed with 31.7 fantasy points per game to the wide receiver position. Corlin Sun, he's been on a tear. He scored the touchdowns a couple of weeks in a row now. I think he is going to be a very solid piece for fantasy football teams down the stretch here as we get into the fantasy football playoffs. Now let's go into tier four. Tier four is the high end wide receiver twos. There's plenty of matchups to talk about in this one. A lot of them being bad matchups, but 13 Malik Neighbors, 14 Terry McLaurin, 15 Tyree Kill, 16 Lad McConkey, 17 Jackson Smith and Jigba, and 18 T Higgins. That rounds out this tier here for me now we've talked about a couple of these matches before but we'll kick it off at 14 terry mclaurin he gets a tougher match of this week he plays the tennessee titans they're currently allowing 4.8 fantasy points below the expectations so not really giving up too many fantasy football points and they are fourth in total points allowed with only 23 points per game to that wide receiver position group so a little bit of a tougher matchup mclaurin he's still a big play guy i mean you saw what he did in the last seconds of that dallas cowboys game he can score from anywhere on the field he's still going to be a valuable asset in our fantasy football lineups this week but Tyree Kill he's another player that plays on Thursday on Thanksgiving Day he is the primetime evening game this is a bad matchup on paper against Green Bay Green Bay is currently allowing negative 4.9 fantasy points below the expectation they're fifth in points allowed this is a tough matchup and Tyree Kill is questionable with a wrist injury he's obviously been dealing with that for a while now uh, he's probably going to continue to be dealing with that for the remainder of the year he keeps playing 
it's just a little bit tougher for him at the moment. We saw Jalen Waddle kind of emerge last week. All of these things considered, you're still playing him as a top 15 option for me in my rankings, but the matchup is bad. The injury, obviously not ideal. A couple of these things, short week. It's just not a great recipe for Tyreek Hill this week. Now let's move on to 16. That's Ladd McConkey. Ladd McConkey gets a good matchup against the Atlanta Falcons this week. They're currently allowing 4.5 fantasy points above the expectation. They're currently ranked 28th in overall fantasy points allowed. This should be a good opportunity for Ladd McConkey to keep stacking some good games on top of each other. Seemed like it was a little bit of a quiet game last week against Baltimore. It was still a good game for Ladd McConkey. I think he is going to be a fine wide receiver too for the rest of the way. Now moving on to number 18, that's where T Higgins is at. This is also a bad matchup. We talked about it with Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase is obviously matchup proof. T Higgins, he is not as matchup proof as Jamar Chase. So this should affect him a little bit more. We talked about Pittsburgh being 4.5 fantasy points below the expectation, sixth in points allowed. It's going to be a little bit tougher. These division games, they're a little bit slower. Sometimes there isn't as many points to go around, but we'll see what happens in this one. T Higgins still a high end wide receiver too for me in my rankings. Now let's move to tier five. Tier five is going to be those low end wide receiver twos. I got six wide receivers in this tier. A couple matchups we can talk about. One of them is going to be Zay Flowers at 19. You got 20 Garrett Wilson, 21 Marvin Harrison Jr., 22 DK Metcalf, 23 Calvin Ridley, 24 Jaden Reed. That rounds out the entire tier. Now I said we could talk about Zay Flowers. This is a bad matchup versus Philadelphia. Philadelphia, they started the year where they were allowing a ton of points to the wide receiver position. They figured it out very quickly. Right now, they are currently a bad matchup on paper. Negative 4.8 fantasy points below the expectation. Ninth in points allowed. And they've been very good. The number two team over the last five weeks when it comes to those statistics. So they are on a roll defensively. It should be tough for Zay Flowers in this matchup. Now, a good matchup in this tier is going to be Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr., he plays the Minnesota Vikings. We've talked about how they are very vulnerable to opposing wide receivers. This is a great matchup on paper. 6.4 fantasy points above the expectation for Marvin Harrison. 32nd dead last for Minnesota in points allowed when it comes to the wide receiver position. So there should be plenty of opportunities for Marvin Harrison to score here in this one for our fantasy football teams now let's move on to tier six tier six i got a total of five guys this is going to be the high end wide receiver threes i got brian thomas jr khalil shakir devonta adams dj moore and jameson williams that rounds out that tier there really isn't any matchups that we are targeting or avoiding in this tier but this is kind of guys with some question marks right brian thomas jr maybe he's going to have trevor lawrence back in the lineup we don't know at the moment khalil shakir he gets san francisco is that going to have brock purdy in the lineup we don't know it could end up being a blowout game by the buffalo bills if Brock Purdy is not in the lineup obviously the Jets have questions DJ Moore he plays on Thursday against the Lions that's a tough defense Jameson Williams he plays the Chicago Bears they're a tough defense as well lots of question marks in this one but nothing really that we're going to target or avoid for fantasy football all of these guys are boom bust options for the most part let's go to tier seven tier seven is the final tier these are the low end wide receiver threes and this will take us all the way to wide receiver 36 I got 30 Tank Dell 31 Darnell Mooney 32 Juwan Jennings 33 Jalen Waddle 34 DeAndre Hopkins 35 Debo Samuel and last but not least 36 Devonta Smith now full disclosure Devonta Smith he has been plugged in here as the last option because we don't know his health he's dealing with a hamstring injury at the moment he is going to be questionable going into this week he didn't play last week the matchup on paper is great great matchup against Baltimore 7.1 fantasy points above the expectation being allowed by Baltimore currently 31st in points allowed if he plays he's going to move up my rankings even more but I have him as the dead last guy in the tier today because we don't know if he's playing and I would probably put him right now at a 50 50 coin flip let's talk about some of the other guys though tank dell he gets that good matchup that nico collins is getting as well jacksonville they're allowing so many points above the expectation 30th in points allowed tank dell should have an opportunity to get some points in this one as well but he is clearly the secondary option behind both nico collins and even joe mixon in this offense as well so we're not going to be relying on tank dell as much as we have in his rookie year last year let's go to darnell mooney darnell mooney is going to be questionable with a hamstring injury coming into this game if he is going to be deemed healthy he probably moves up a tiny bit but not a ton darnell mooney still a decent play if he does end up suiting up the 49ers options we talked about it maybe it's going to be purdy maybe it's not if it's brandon allen we kind of saw the upside of this offense it's not great with brandon allen in the offense so juan jennings Debo Samuel, both of these guys in this tier until we get some more information. And then lastly, Jalen Waddle, he gets that bad matchup on Thursday against Green Bay. We talked about that with Tyreek Hill. He did have a big week last week. So if Tyreek Hill is still banged up going into this week, maybe they lean on Jalen Waddle a little bit more coming off of the big game. He's still a guy that I'm viewing as a wide receiver three, a boom bust option as well. But like I said, bad matchup on paper on a short week on a primetime game.
game on Thanksgiving Day. So there you have it, folks. That is my top 36 wide receivers as we head into the Thanksgiving Day games. Short week, so we don't have a ton of information coming out just yet about all of these players. Obviously, we'll get more of that as the week advances. If you want to make sure that you're getting the most up-to-date information from this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get all of our future videos there in your subscription feed. If you like today's video, make sure you hit the like button as well. And last but not least, probably the most important, make sure you go join that free Discord. I do have a free Discord linked in the description. I'm in there helping you guys with your fantasy football teams 24-7, 365. If you have any questions on the short week, the crazy week of the NFL, Thanksgiving games, make sure you go join that Discord. That is where I'm going to be answering some questions as the week progresses. But with all of that being said, I have nothing else for you guys today. So I will see you on our next episode. But until then, peace out.